So you want to know how to start and build a marketing list for your beauty business? Keep on watching. What's up, SD Besties, spa hustlers, and beauty business owners? I hope you all are doing well. Welcome back to another video. If you are new here, my name is Brooke Ebony. I'm a licensed esthetician and a spa owner. And on this channel, we talk about business. We do service demos, extractions, all of that good stuff. You know, all of the things. If you are here for that, go ahead on and hit that subscribe button and make sure that you give the video a big thumbs up. And let's get right into the content. All right, y'all. So I'm saying marketing list because it sounds all fancy, you know what I'm saying? But all it really is is an email list and a phone number list that you can use to text people. So an email list and a text list. Um, essentially, to me, a marketing list is probably the most important asset that your business will ever own simply because we do not own these social media streets. They can shut down at any given time. And if you have the names and numbers of everybody that is interested in your business, that won't even matter. You'll still have a way to get in contact with your clients or customers. So if you are new to starting and building a email list, marketing list, text list, then this video is definitely for you. You should stay and watch it. I am going to break this down as basic, as basic, as basic as I can. If you are not new to it, then uh, go ahead on and click off now because you're probably just going to get frustrated. But anyway, so we're going to go in two parts. First, I'm going to do the email. And then second, I'm going to do the text list. I do have some notes here. So if I'm looking down, that's what I'm looking at. Just, you know, try to follow along. Just so the first thing that you want to do when you're getting ready to start your email list is you want to pick your host. And by host, I mean whichever software that you choose that's going to house your email addresses that you collect and where you can send out your blast emails and stuff like that. So there are a lot of different hosts out there. Um, I use MailChimp personally. I think I'm about to switch because I'm... Uh, they not as easy user friendly as they used to be. Um, I have tried convert kit and I do like it. So I think I'm gonna go back to them. Um, there is also constant contact. It's a lot of different hosts. They all have their different plans and prices. So just make sure that you Google them and do a good comparison and pick the one that works best for you and your budget. So the next thing that you're going to do after you pick the software that's going to host all of your email addresses is you're going to make a sign up form. Usually the um, software has their own sign up forms built inside. So we're not going to be doing lead pages and not, we're keeping it very simple so that you can just get started. Okay. So, um, they usually have demo videos embedded in their websites so they can, it, it'll show you how to use it and how to make a sign up form and all of that. Push come to shove. If it does not have that, dial that customer service number and have somebody walk you through it. Now, what I will say is once you figure out how to do your sign up form, don't try to be all fancy. All you need is your logo, whatever your incentive is, name, email. That's it. Um, we're going to talk about incentives next, but as far as designing that form, just keep it real simple. All right, so now that you have your host picked out, you have your sign up form made, we're going to go into the incentive. So whenever you are trying to collect information from somebody, it's always good to give them something in return, which is basically an incentive. But most people, which I'm sure you all have heard it being called, is a lead magnet or a freebie, something like that. But um, it's really just an incentive. It, all of those words can be used interchangeably. And so some examples could be a coupon, a free service, um, a percent off of a service, something like that. Especially, you know, we are in the service-based business. So in the spirit of keeping this simple, um, I do 10% off your first service if you sign up, you know, for the text club. You want to call it something, you know, cute. For me, it's just the text club. So that ain't even really cute, but you know what I mean. Let's recap real quick. So you have your email software picked out. You have went on there and you have made your sign up form. You have picked out or created your freebie, your lead magnet, your incentive, whichever one you choose to call it. Now it's time to get the link to that sign up form and place it in your tree of links, wherever that may be. They could be link tree, link in bio, the link that's in your bio. I wouldn't, you know, make sure you have a tree of links. 
I just think that's important. But um, if you want to just put that in your bio right now while you're just trying to build up the list, that's fine. But just figure out how to get the link to your sign up form so that way you can put it in your tree of links and ads or whatever. All right. So now it's time to let the world know about your lead magnet or your freebie or your incentive. So you're just going to go to Canva or wherever you like to make your content um, and make some content letting people know that if they want you, whatever your incentive is, they can sign up for your email by going to the link in your bio. So you can make reels. Um, you can make motion flyers for it. Just make content around your freebie and letting people know that they can get that if they sign up for your email list. All right, y'all. So now that you have done all of that, you want to make sure that you deliver whatever it is that you promised in exchange for that email address immediately. So it can either be in the confirmation, which you will build when you build the sign up list, or it can be in the very first email that you send. So um, that's why they call it an autoresponder sometimes as opposed to an email software provider. They'll call it an autoresponder. So once you make up your your sequence, your email sequence, it always asks what do you want your welcome email to be. So you can deliver the coupon or you can tell them how they can, you know, come in to get their percentage off in that very first email that you send them or in the confirmation that they will get when they sign up. Whichever or, just make sure that you deliver it immediately. All right, so just in case I have confused you, when you build your sign up form, it's going to have a section for a confirmation message. So in that message, it usually just says, thanks for joining as a default. You can change it to say, you know, whatever your brand voice says, like, you know, we got you down, sis. Thank you. <laughs> or thanks for joining, you know, if you want to leave it like that. But if you want to deliver whatever your uh, freebie is, whether it's your coupon or a uh, percent off or whatever, you'll say, thank you for joining. Here's your this. Or you can say, thank you for joining your, whatever your freebie is, is on the way. If you decide that you want to put the freebie in the very first welcome email. So um, in the spirit of keeping this simple, that's all I'm, we just going to talk about getting them on the email, the confirmation and the welcome. All right, y'all. So now we are finally on to the fun part, which is building a text list. Yes, I prefer a text list. I, it's quick. It's easy. It's to the point, honey. And text has a more um, higher opening rate than what email does. So um, you won't be really, you know, wasting too much of your time when you're doing a text list as opposed to an email list. But the first step is really the same thing. You're just going to pick your host, which can be slicktext.com, easytext.com. Just Google it and, you know, look at their rates and pick the one that works best for you and your business. All right. So now that you have your text list provider um, picked out, you're going to pick a keyword. That keyword needs to be related to your business. For example, my business is Body Candy Beauty Spa, so I just have everybody text the word BK Beauty to the number, which is now a long number because Easy Text, which is my service provider, says that short codes are now illegal. But I still see people using them. So short code, short codes would be, which mine used to be 31996, but now they have us using a whole 1-800 number which is something that I just don't understand. But anyways, that's neither here nor there. You're going to pick your keyword and in all your advertising or whatever you're going to tell people, save 10% off your first service for texting this word to this number. See? Simple. Quick. Easy. Easy. So you definitely can just deliver whatever your freebie was to them on that very first text message. So when you pick out your keyword, most service providers are going to tell you to make your auto responder or make your auto response or your confirmation text or whatever. So my confirmation text just say, hey, got you down, sis. Um, show us this text message on your first service and you'll get 10% off. Something simple like that. But if you have an ebook or a coupon or something, if you know you're a little fancy, then get the link to that and then just put that in that first text message simply because text message um, hosting is high. They ain't playing no games out here in these streets. So you don't want to be using up all of your texts. Um, I think the free one on um, Slick Text is like you get 500, 
you'll be surprised how quickly that'll go just from people signing up and them sending out that um, confirmation text. So one text, that's all you need. That's... So you guys, I know that um, a lot of people talk about funnels a lot. This is pretty much a basic, basic, basic funnel like the most basic of the most ba basics, like, <laughs> like the funnel, like, like this, like this, how the funnel is y'all, but it's a funnel nonetheless. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I wanted to keep this extremely simple for you. Um, for those that are just getting started and you've watched other people's stuff and, and you know, they go really quickly and they just kind of confuse you a little bit. So I really do hope that this video helped you. If you feel like you need, um, more help with this or a better explanation, I do have an ebook available. Um, the link to that will be down in the description. It is very affordable and you will have that to where you can go step by step of what you need to do. All right, so that's the end of the video. I really do hope you found value. I thank you so, so much if you are still watching. Um, comment Spy Hustler down below so I can know that you made it this far in the video. Make sure that you watch whichever one comes up next. If you need further help or you just a, a different type of learner and you want a step-by-step -step example, click the link in the description, grab that ebook, and yeah, I will catch y'all in the next video.